if you can cover uh, God's grace, if you can cover like acceleration and what that means in options when you get a chance. Uh, I can do it right now. It's just gamma. Um, oh, yeah. So the Greeks okay. for acceleration is just gamma. So what happens is the faster the move. So you know how they have those big like bikes or big drop, right? That's right. acceleration. So the faster it moves like that, the higher gamma is, the higher gamma is, the more it increases the premium. That's why I always tell you, like, uh, let's look at this one, for example. This is smaller, but you'll see what I mean. So this is its typical sizes, right? When it does one of these really fast, it's worth more than the value that it moved in because of how fast, like the acceleration went. When you see it go pop, I'll sell it <laughs> because when it goes pop like this, and let's say it comes back to right here, right? The value is actually probably here. <laughs> wow. Because of the acceleration went bam, right? Like you put the pedal to the metal. Okay. Way up here, you get like all the money, obviously. But if you even wait for a second for it to breathe back, you actually lose you know, 30% of that movement. That's why days when stocks are just going crazy to the upside, everything is worth so much. The premiums get so expensive. The implied volatility, that's what it really comes down to at the end of the day, cranks all the way up. So this is why I always talk about if it's running really hot, I sometimes will wait for it to even if it pauses for a second and then comes back slightly because that just that little bit of breath for me takes off hundreds of dollars in premium price I pay. And for you, tens of dollars, right? Whatever your size is. Right. So if you did right. 10 contracts and it saves you four cents, that's 40 bucks, right? Okay. So if it's a big, giant, fast move, I try not to buy into those because then I'm paying a big amount of money. Let me show you with Tesla one second. Thanks. This is this is exactly what I mean with Tesla. Watch this. So right here, I'm like, yeah, I want to get into a put, right? And I'm up in here and I miss it. I miss it. I miss it. And I wind up buying it like right here. I just paid so much money for that because of this giant move that it made. Right. Mm -hmm. What I would actually do is wait for it to come here and come right here and pay this premium because this premium right here is probably the cost of what it would have been here. <laughs> it's that much. It's that That's drastic. Crazy. Oh, wow. It's that drastic with, with options. It, the faster it jerks, the more that premium changes and it changes in a heartbeat. So if you, you, this is another way you guys can do this too, right? So if you're watching, especially watch a stock that's really volatile and you could do that by doing this on your screen. Like if I went to Tesla here and I could see its movement and what it's doing here. And then while I'm in it, be already in the options, right? So this is a put and look at your mid and then watch how it moves when this thing jerks really hard, right? So now it's in a call. So it's at 505. But if you ever watch it go, whoop, this thing will just super accelerate. And then the second it comes back, it, you'll lose tons of money. Wow. So that's that's gamma, right? So that's your how fast it moves, changes. Um, and for anybody else who's interested in the Greeks, that's in all of my options videos. I've got it in my call options, put options, cover calls, and cash secure puts videos. It'll talk about all the Greeks, what they mean, how they change, and what it's doing. Because they are there's there's a lot to them, right? But yeah. that's it in a nutshell. That's why options, though, are so much riskier than shares. Because right now, if I own the shares, it's worth $182.03. If it blasts way up here, it's worth $182.42. But if it was an options and then it breathes back, if I'm thinking about it theoretically in value, well, now it's still only worth $182, even though it's at $182.36 <laughs> because your options don't move that way. Mm. So that's why I always say do shares, not options until you're ready because options will rip your soul out. <laughs>
<laughs> right. That's why I had to ask because I'm like, yes. it's something I'm not understanding here when it comes yep. down to the volatility. So thank yes. you.